When we start Secret Invasion, Nick Fury has been off planet. And Maria Hill has just really been trying to, you know, maintain order. But this current threat is getting out of control. Five global terrorist strikes within the past year. Each one claimed by a different group. It's business as usual. That's precisely what they want you to think. Nick comes back having lost whatever power he had before. So we try and solve things without being too superhuman. You going to shoot me? Maybe. Well, probably. But not right now. We get to jump into Nick Fury's world, which is very spy versus spy. The kind of grittiness, the locations, the way it feels, the way it's written. It's a thriller. Fury, we gotta be very careful now. I had to pinch myself many mornings when I would step on set with Olivia Coleman, Sam Jackson, Don Cheadle, Amelia Clark, Ben Mendelsohn, Kingsley Benadir. I mean, some of my favorite actors in the world. Alone at last. After every Marvel film released, I would phone my agent and say, please, can I be in a Marvel thing? I never imagined it would happen. What makes you think you can get him to speak? Oh, I can be quite persuasive. Looking at the MCU through these different lenses, you get to see all these different sides of the characters. So we get to really sort of dig into who they are. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about it? This idea of, of who can you trust, that is really the heart of the show. You could be talking to somebody you have a very close relationship with, and then you find out that that's not who you thought it was. It becomes sort of a cat and mouse game that we, we build toward to the end of the show. You can't predict it, and you can't preempt it, and you can't fathom it until it happens. I'm Nick Fury. Even when I'm out, I'm in.